We've covered a lot of information, haven't we? But we're up to chapter 12 now. Yay! It's opening night! With good marketing and previews, the box office has been busy, and now the house, the space where the audience sits, is full. The opening night audience is seated, and the actors are waiting to make their entrances, and the stage manager is calling for the audience house lights to go down and the stage lights to come up, and the play begins. Oh, God, it's an exciting time. There's incredible energy filling the theater. The dressing rooms are filled with flowers and cards from admirers and well-wishers on opening night. There's a promise of cheers and thunderous applause. There's also expectations for everyone, cast, crew, audience, when the play opens. Have you ever given thought to what is the proper etiquette or behavior for the audience members? Or how about expectations placed on all the actors and the production staff and the managers when the production begins performances? The work doesn't end with opening night. And for many in the theater, the work is just beginning. Oh, they've all been busy up until now. But for theater artists, performances are what it's all about, what they've been working toward for weeks or months prior. Unfortunately, many people who attend performances treat the experience like a night at the movie theater in the mall. It's not. Proper behavior varies, too, whether the play performances are in professional venues or like New York or Chicago or in your university or college theater. In both instances, they're not going to the multiplex. You're about to experience live, intimate theater performances. Are you ready? If not, then read chapter 12 closely.